Natural channel design means using natural materials for channel design. By using natural materials such as root wads, log veins, brush mattresses, along with native plants in our designs, we can assure mankind a better environment and quality of life for our future. I'm here today with Brian King, a professional engineer working in Cumming, Georgia. Uh, he's been a professional engineer for 24 years. He's been in natural channel design for six years. He's a local expert in natural channel design, and I'd like to ask him some questions today about natural channel design to educate people who are interested in learning more about it. Uh, Brian, how does a, a stream behave naturally? Well, a natural stream, a natural stable stream, it really only handles the one to one and a half year storm. Uh, and at that stage, it is connected to the floodplain. Uh, what are some of the problems that occur to require natural channel design? Uh, development these days has uh, forced our streams to handle higher and higher flows and these streams have been encroached on and their floodplains have been reduced with the development of subdivisions, shopping centers, so the stream no longer has access to a floodplain and with that the stream is forced to carry the high flows causing the stream to become unstable and highly eroded. Where did natural channel design come from? Natural Channel Design was developed by Dave Roskin, and Dave Roskin is out of Fort Collins, uh, Colorado. Uh, Dave studied under Luna Leopold, but Dave is the one that is really considered the father of stream restoration. Uh, does a lot of work with EPA and has set the industry standards for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and EPA for any type of stream design. What does natural channel design do better than conventional channel design? Conventional engineering has uh, for years and years just forced all of the storm water to the streams and then does not worry about the effect of the higher flows, higher velocities downstream, whereas natural channel design uh, looks at putting the, these excessive flows back into a floodplain uh, it incorporates the entire ecosystem and provides more habitat in the stream. Uh, we moved away from the riprap and concrete repairs to handle these flows by incorporating the floodplain into our designs.